Welcome back. It's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary, and we are a co-op of nerds, and today we're going to be showing you our most recent pickups. But before we begin, don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe, and follow us on Facebook. Alright, so we got a giant stack of games. Probably like two and a half to three feet tall is the stack. And then uh, we'll start off with a couple of a couple of board games. We got two new Kickstarters which should be coming to uh, kickstart my review here hopefully soon. This is a Trepidation, a horror card game. So cooperative, two to five players, ten to thirty minutes, ages twelve plus. And the artwork on this looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Pretty scary. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited, excited for that. Alright. This one might be a little bit tougher. It's another Kickstarter. Show me, you know me. Um, it's a party game. It's three to twelve. Yeah, people. three to twelve. So it might be a little bit harder to review this one. Uh, just because we'll have to wait till people feel comfortable hanging out again. Yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> Alright, then uh, we had a target run. Well, no. I guess only one of these is for target. Oh, we didn't. We did. Back to the Future. So we picked that up at the same time, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Okay, we also picked up Back to the Future of the Dice game, which... Uh, dice Through Time. Dice Through Time. So that'll be coming on the channel here soon. We've, we've got the review recorded, just having uh So had we time did our review edit. for that before we showed you that it was on our pickups. That's right. But uh, this is Pandemic Hot Zone America, or North America. Uh, we love the Pandemic games, mm -hmm. and this one just looks like it's um, a little more focused in North America. Quick. Yep. A little bit smaller. Maybe travel friendly. And it looks like Indianapolis is actually a city that becomes infected, so there, that's fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we got the newest edition of Unmatched, Cobble and Fog. It has Dracula, Jekyll and Hyde, The Invisible Man, and Sherlock Holmes. So we got to play that one a couple of times. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so we should have... We'll probably play it a couple more times and then get a review done of that, too. And then this is the last board game. Oh, it's the mini version of one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. So this is, this box is still freaking huge. But yeah. The original one was like 27 pounds. So this is like the, everything great about Gloomhaven but kind of shrunk down a little bit. A little bit faster to set up. That was that was probably our biggest problem with Gloomhaven. Is just basically we spent one night setting it up, the next night playing it, the following night tearing it down, and it just kind of stretched out too much. Mm -hmm. So this one we got through Walmart.com, right? Um, no, Target. Target? Okay. Yeah, Target had it exclusive on it on opening weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So of all. Five or six board games will also count Back to the Future. Yeah. Dice through time. Which one are you most excited for? Um, well, because we've already played two of them. So. I haven't played two of them. Well. Yeah, because yeah. we played Back to the Future. We kind of played Cobble and Fog. It, someone else played as one of the characters. We, I think I'm really excited about Trepidation, the horror card game. Okay. I saw the art. I, I mean, I love all the pandemics. Um, I'm a big pandemic fan, but trepidation. I started looking through those cards and just like it was scary. scary. Yeah. yeah, me. It's obviously Gloomhaven. Yeah. Not a not a whole lot of surprise there. So <clears throat> up next, we picked up a new system, the Retron Five. Uh, our good friend over at Quick Take Gaming kept singing the praises of this. We also got the Master System 
cartridge and they call it a disc no card and cartridge and game gear add-on so this plays Famicom or Game Boy Advance, Super NES, NES, Genesis, and Famicom. Yeah, also Super Famicom, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color. I don't know why those weren't on the side. Hmm. But um, once we got this, we were so excited I had to rearrange the game room yeah. to uh, hook it up to the, the nice TV. I played a little Famicom on it, King Kong 2. Uh, the game was, was a lot of fun. Pretty tough though. Of course, all Nintendo games are tough, but um, it Different. works great. Mm -hmm. I didn't experience any lag. I used a regular Nintendo, a wired Nintendo controller. I didn't use their controller, but uh, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looked really nice. And the um, that one, we got those games from. Uh, I think that was Retro Game Treasure. We got those games. Mm -hmm. So we got the Famicom games first. We weren't right. quite sure what to do with them or how to play them, so... Yeah, I, I just looked at it. We're getting a Famicom, a Super Famicom, a Game Gear, three Game Boys. Those are all systems, or Master System. So, seven systems we don't have, yeah. and then we have the wrapped up into one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have an NES, we have a Sega, we have a Super Nintendo. Um, but I think sort of the convenient you know if you price all those out i think that ran me about 180 bucks from amazon for both of them i don't even think you could find a regular famicom for much under you know 120. yeah so now the giant stack of games video games yes so a long time ago, this has actually been sitting in our pickup section for a while. GameStop had a sale that was buy a new game, get a used game 50% off. So I bought Journey to the Savage Planet and Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Wisps. That's a tough word to say with Wisps. a few list. You don't have a list. <clears throat> and got these two games 50% off. Mario Party 3 and StarCraft 64. So the 50% off the two 64 games was greater than the price I paid for the brand new game. So I basically, you know, buy Mario Party 3, get a free Xbox One yeah. game. So, uh, that, that was pretty cool. I, I don't know how great StarCraft 64 will be on Nintendo 64. I played it on the computer way, way, way back in the day, and I had a lot of fun with it. I think it'll probably struggle a little bit on the GameCube, but, uh, I thought, you know, what the heck, try it out. I don't, I don't think I've played much of the Mario Party 3 yeah, Mario Party is basically a board game, video game. Oh, okay, I so remember. So you, you roll the dice and move that many spots, collect coins or lose coins. Yeah, or, you and you and Max played that before. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then like every round, there's a party game where you're trying to do something. So I do think Max, you and Max would really like those too. All right, then GameStop, GameStop got us again. Had a good sale. Yeah, they had a good sale. I wonder if 8-bit uh, glitch fell into their trap. We'll see. <laughs> so, I don't know, the next 40 games we got 50% off. Um, it's, it's just too hard to beat. So, of course GameStop puts stickers all over it, but we got uh, Call of Cthulhu. Children of Morta. Indivisible, Trine Ultimate Collection, The Invisible Hours, and Battle Chasers. 
So again, we got 50% off all of these. Um, For Xbox One. Which is really nice. Uh, lately, I've been kind of into trying to find more hidden gems. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is going to be kind of... I mean, some of them are big, well-established franchises. I just, I've never tried. So it's kind of a hidden gem to me, even though it's probably not to the rest of the world. But I've also been kind of keeping my eyes out for games I've just never heard of. Never heard anyone talk about or, you know, seen any gameplay footage just to try it out. And again, everything's 50% off, so if you buy a $4 game at 50% off and it's not very good, you're not, you're you're not, not hurting that, that bad. So these are all the Xbox One games. Which one are you most excited for? So, um, the... What was this one? Was this the investigative one? Yeah. Okay, the Invisible Hours. Invisible Hours. For me, I've... You know, there's a ton of Cthulhu board games, but I don't know if I've seen a Cthulhu video game, so that's the one I'm most excited to try out. Alright, now we got... decent stack of PS3. Now this is a franchise, again, I haven't played, but it's pretty popular. Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. Why can't it just be like Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts 2? Or well, because it's compilation. So this one has Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts, Birth, by Sleep Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Oh. So they're little compilations. They released, I think, a ton of Kingdom Hearts on like PSP or Vista, that's PlayStation's handhelds, but they didn't make it for the PlayStation. So I think they tried to make these that way you could, if you didn't have a portable device, you could still play them. We got Dead Space 3. Mass Effect 3. I know a lot of people really enjoy the Mass Effect games. I've never played them. So, Dungeon Siege 3. Aegis of Earth. And God of War Saga. So, of the GameStop PS3s, which one are you most excited for? I'm going to go with God of War Saga. God of War Saga. Yeah. It's only one player. I know. I know. I know. I can't, we can't play that one together, but... <laughs> For me, it's probably Kingdom Hearts 1.5. I just... I've heard a lot about that. It's like Final Fantasy meets Disneyland. So I always thought that sounded fun. It's different. It's not something that I, I would have put together myself. Right. Like, I couldn't have thought up that idea. Alright. Got the 360 games. Again, all 50% off. Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Dragon's Dogma. Chaotic Shadow Warriors. Bulletstorm Epic Edition. Cameo Elements of Power. Condemned 2 Bloodshot. Did I say that word? Reckoning. Oh. oh. Kingdoms of... Am... Amler? Amler. Kingdoms of Amalur. <laughs> Amalur. <laughs> Reckoning. Sacred 2, Fallen Angel. Lost Planet 2. Tales of Vesperia. And Two Worlds. That's a lot. Which one are you most looking forward to? So this one's a close one, um, but I'm, 
probably is it cameo elements of power? Yeah, that's how I was pronouncing it. That one. I think I'm gonna go condemn to bloodshot. I think you're chasing down a serial killer. Which that sounds fun. This one just looked. I, it, it's got. It's got that like uh, fantasy look to it. You know, it's got the the trolls and looks mm -hmm. like elves and dragons. So that one looks fun. Okay, we went to a garage sale. They have one game. One. That was it. About one game. <laughs> one eight seven ride or die. I don't know where this family got this game. They did not look like the kind of family that would have a game called One Eight Seven Ride or Die. No. <laughs> so uh, it is complete in a PlayStation Two box. So even if the game is not good, I definitely need PlayStation Two boxes. I for a buck. Yeah. So I won't ask you which PlayStation Two game it was. So. <laughs> so then GameStop sale ended on Saturday, and we went out Sunday to hit a couple more. So we were left disappointed, so we decided to go to our old stomping ground, disc replay, and uh, just pick up some stuff for funsies. Probably breaking, oh, you're going to do this one. Yeah, I'll do the Wii okay. games, because I picked up the Wii games. So one of them is One of them you picked up, yes. Sim Animals. So I, I'm, I've always liked the Sim franchise. And so I thought Sim Animals might be fun, especially for the kids. So, My Sims Kingdom. And then I did not know this game existed, but I was super excited when I saw this because I absolutely love Metroid on the Nintendo. So Metroid Other M. I'm anxious to see how this one plays on the Wii. And of course they had Super Paper Mario. And I love anything Mario. And then this one is Raving Rabbids Travel in Time. Our son really likes, um, what's that Rabbids one? That I think it's got? Mario and Rabbids. King. King's Battle. Ba battle. Battle Kingdom. Something. Yeah. We bought it for him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I guess we can put that in the pickups too. Yeah. Uh, but he immediately, it went straight to the Switch, so. Yep. Uh, Sim City Creator. And so, honestly, probably my favorite of all of the Sim games was the Sim City. Um, there's also a Sim Ant mm -hmm. that I really enjoyed playing, but I haven't seen that one very much. Sonic and the Secret Rings. So, I'm a fan of the Sonic franchise, so I thought maybe we would try it out on the Wii. And then this one Doug picked up, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. Of that anime style artwork, which is pretty yeah. cool. So, which one of those are you most looking forward to? Okay, so. Metroid. Metroid? Mm -hmm. You pick all these Sim games and then pick Metroid. <laughs> Let's see, for me, I actually think it's Super Paper Mario. I heard this is sort of the spiritual successor to the Super Mario RPG game. Um, but I've never played a Paper Mario game, so I'm I'm looking for really looking forward to seeing that one. All right, just when you think we're done, nope, <laughs> still got more. Got a stack of PS3 games here from Disc Replay. Uncharted Three. That was ninety nine cents. Wow. <laughs> this is. Ico and Shadow of Colossus. I heard um, Metal Jesus Rocks really ranting and raving about Shadow of Colossus. So was it him and Ra was Radical Reggie also? I, th I think so. Okay. This is Uncharted One and Two dual pack. I've never played Uncharted. People always talk about how great they are. Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. Uh, I love Castlevania. It's probably Either that or Resident Evil, probably my favorite franchises of all time. It's close. This one looked pretty cool. Demon Souls. And Mass Effect 2. So, of these, which one are you most excited for? 
Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. I gotta go to Castlevania. Of course. I love that, that franchise. Was that was a good pickup. Well, yeah, that, that was one of the more expensive ones there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I mean, Paper Mario was the only one that was not $4. Right. So. Okay, the last set here. Another run of 360. How do you sound that? Ro o Orochi? Warriors Orochi? I think I pronounce that a little more Spanish than Japanese. Fear 2. Hunt It, The Demon's Forge. Fear 1. Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Mass Effect 1. And Dead Space 1. Again, I haven't played any of the Mass Effects or Dead Space or Uncharted or Fear. So a lot of these, they're really well-liked franchises. I just don't have any experience with them. So of these, which one are you most excited for? Not a whole lot of Mary games in this set. No, I'm not very familiar with with these. Um, but I would say Hunted, the Demon's Hunted, Forge. Hunted, the mm -hmm. Demon's Forge. Yeah, that's two players, cooperative, split screen cooperative. Yeah. Fresh take on the classic dungeon girl. So it might be similar to uh, Diablo. We love Diablo yeah. 3. I think for me, it's probably the first Mass Effect. I've heard so many things about Mass Effect that uh, I've always really wanted to try it. And just, for whatever reason, just kept slipping by. There's a lot of games to try here, though. That is a big stack of games. None that we can play on our Retron 5. <laughs> Let's hope that we get something in our uh, retro game treasure. Yeah. Again. Well, Video Games Monthly is coming up next. Video Games Monthly is coming up in a week. I think I changed both of them to only games that the Retro on 5 could play. Okay. So. That's good. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> so, is it high strategery or is it high st Are we just doing the pickups now? Ah, oh, yes, we're doing the pickups now. Okay. My back hurts from all these pickups. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm.